not to be a Libra to resonate with this reading. You could just be energetically connected with somebody who has Libra somewhere in their astrological chart. You could have Libra somewhere in your astrological chart, or you came across this reading and it just doesn't feel. You. you have a sister, someone to dream, cry, sing, laugh with. Okay. And you also have the number three. Many of you um, are looking at your mothering skills or your own mother. Okay, how you were mothered. How does that impact the way that you work? How does that impact your home life? Many of you guys may own your own business. Taurus, Libra, you can be any sign. You may own your own business. If you're a feminine energy, you may work from home. You may have a very profitable at-home business. You're also recognizing that a sister is like a gift, but it's also something that you avoid. Okay, now you do represent relationships. Um, it's you recognizing that there is a blessing in having a sibling, right? But it's also something that you do avoid because you recognize that it involves a sense of collaboration. Okay. And for you, it feels not just personal, but it also feels professional at the same time, okay? Because you feel like these weren't relationships you really actually asked for. They were sort of just given to you from on you, right? You have the Four of Pentacles, the Chidna, Sun and Capricorn, it's supposed to be Aquarius, the Hangman, Pisces, Sagittarius, Ophetius, and... Okay, then you have Salamander. Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Ophetius. Some of you just had um, a child, or you can be pregnant with a child. It could be a boy, or you just gave birth to a child. Okay, it could be any gender. Congratulations on the birth. Knight of Wands, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Ophetius. Yeah, this is going to be very upset with you. Hand of Man? Yeah. Um, there's also something wrong with the plumbing. Someone's ghosting you or you're ghosting them. There's also a masculine energy here that's interested in the same sex. Okay? So if um, something romantically is not working out with a masculine energy, it's because they're interested in the opposite sex. Okay? That's why there's rejection. So there's a masculine energy that really wants your attention, but they're really angry. Like they're really upset. They're mad they can't travel. They're mad they feel like they're not getting the attention they want. It's very immature energy. Very frustrated. Very angry. Um, not feeling very well. Lack of energy. Okay, not a very good role model to children during this time. Um, and I feel like this is being revealed to you. It's being said to you. Okay? It's like a rush. It's very like forcefully, forcefully being told to you. And with the hangman, it's like if you're in a relationship, there's erectile dysfunction. There's no sex. And if you're single, you're just not really interested in having sex. You're not really interested in it. Um, you're not having sex. The number 30 could be significant here. You could be going through your Saturn's return. Um, there's something new here, either a new person. Um, for many of you, I feel like when this is revealed to you, when this person is like revealing all of this, like their anger and their emotions and everything that they're going through, like, just everything. You're just, like, pouring it all out. You look at things from a different perspective. And with the Ace of Wands, it does allow there to be a new beginning within yourself. Okay? 
And it also raises the awareness that you don't have any control over other people what they decide to do. You know what I'm saying? It's like you only have control over yourself. This new opportunity. This is also like you could be starting a new job. You could be starting um, new ventures. Someone that's very upset with you. You have the dark lady. 20. I feel like you've had an awakening. The hidden energy. Being the journey man. Number 15. For many of you, a Capricorn or an Aquarius is leaving you. Okay. Or you could be leaving a Capricorn or an Aquarius. Because it's toxic. Like it's, it's not healthy. Like it's not good. And you recognize that, like you've had an awakening about that. And you feel confident. Almost like you have, this could be like your ancestors, your guides, right? With every footstep, you don't know where the next footstep is going to go, but you do know that you're going to be safe. You do know someone's going to be there for you. And there's a, a recognition here, connecting to the moon, right? Um, that your dreams can become a reality. That you can have a new life. This is a new life for yourself, especially if you're a feminine energy. A new beginning for yourself. Um, one where you do not deal with players or people who are on again, off again. They only want your attention because they don't have enough love within themselves. Okay. If you do find love, it's like the person's in another state or country, or Scorpio. They're really far away from you. Um, they may see you online or you can see them online. If you are in a relationship, Taurus energy, you don't actually want to be in that relationship, but you're in the relationship. He can also be like, um, you and your significant other have different views on what that relationship should look like. You might want a polygamous relationship. They want a monogamous relationship. Okay. What's going on there? Someone could also have an addiction. Someone has an addiction in that there's like a, a recognition that it could be the addiction to, you know, having multiple options, not taking things seriously, um, living in an energy where you're constantly blaming other people for your own decisions and the consequences of those particular actions. There's like a recognition that there is toxicity that has left you very stagnant. But that you're the only one who can actually take the initiative to get you out of it. You also could have been seeing 10, 01 a lot. Like mirror numbers. Because your reality is being mirrored back to you. Okay? This has been your video. Uh,